Hey, what is going on guys? As you can see, I am on Fallout Shelter, and as you can tell by the title of the video, we're gonna be showing you a glitch, how to get unlimited lunch boxes, and as well as caps along the way. Now caps is the currency, as you can see in the top right, I got 52 only. And uh, yeah, we'll just show you how to do this. So first of all, make a new vault if you have to, or just go into one that you may already have. Now, make sure to have these challenges checked upon, because as you can see, I've done two of these, and if I collect it, one of them gave me a lunchbox, and the other one gave me caps. However, that is not enough. We need a lot more. So what we're going to do is go ahead and save the game, and we're going to close it down after it has saved. So once it's saved, close the application. Alright, so once that is done, go all the way to settings, you want to go to network, and just go ahead and disable connection to the internet. Right, you back out of it, as you can see it's going to appear as offline. Now go ahead and launch up the game. Alright guys, so once you're on this screen, go to vault list, and select your vault that way, like so, and load it through there. So just let the whole thing load in, collect anything that you may want to collect, like I have to collect some food right here. If you got a dweller outside, just go ahead and bring it in, and we'll just put it in here. So let's go ahead and press the home button once again. Now go to settings again, and you want to go down to date and time. As you can see, it's right here. Select it and you want to set it manually. Now, for the days, just go up 7. So that's 7, and you click enter and back out into the game. As you can see, we got the dailies. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. On the 7th one, we got the lunchbox. Just back out of it once again, collect anything that you have to collect, like so. As it speeds up, the seven days it also speeds up the process of the generators, the food, the water, all of that. Even the stats if you're training your dwellers. Now once again, press the home button. You go to settings again, you go to date and time. Go to the first option, set manually, and go up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're in a brand new month now. You want to go up by a month, and then you click enter back out and go into the game mind that in this whole process the game is still on and we're not back in outside of the game now once again collect one two three four five six and seven days of stuff now we just collect everything and as you can see we even got a woman here that was pregnant we collected it and uh, well now we have a child somewhere here Go ahead and level up your dwellers as well. It's easy XP as well as caps. As you can see, we're at a thousand caps and we already have three lunch boxes. Although one of them we already had at the beginning. Let's go ahead and do it again. Go to settings. You want to go to date and time. You want to set it manually and go up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You want to accept it, back out and go into the game. Once again, collect your dailies. And now we're at four lunch boxes. Let's go ahead and collect once again all these resources. Now, you wanna upgrade as much as your base as you can. As you can see, we're, we're low on water and we're low on food. So let's go ahead and quickly add more to the food, just like this. Uh, I suggest you do this at a stage where you're pretty much about to train your dwellers, so that way, let's see, the stage is around the weight room, which is 24 dwellers. If you have 24 dwellers, it's perfect because you can train them in the stats almost instantly. So let's go ahead and just add more of these into the food section, and we'll add some in here if we can. We can't, we'll put them in the food once again. And we'll just get some more water going, because they're short on water too. And we'll put this guy in the water. 
Okay, that's another room unlocked. Let's go ahead and just unlock them. Right, so let's continue this again. Press the home button, go to settings, date and time. You want to set it manually and go up by seven. Do not go more than seven. You can go less, but not more. There you go. That's seven, back out, into the game, and collect the seven daily. Now, the thing about this method is that if you do it this way, you can only do it once per vault. So if you're gonna do it, make sure you do it at least a hundred times so you have as much long bo lunch boxes as you can possibly have, perhaps, just so that you don't have to, like, make a new vault, I suppose, since, uh, you can only do it again after the certain days. So let's say I do it for 14 days, which is two weeks. I'm gonna have to wait those two weeks for the dailies to pass on. So if I go in here, this will stay like this for two weeks, just because I did it two times. So just do it as much as you can and you'll be fine. If you don't have to worry if you have like 150 of these lunch boxes then because by that time you'll pretty much be at the end stage of the game so Let's see here. We got another child We keep getting more dwellers just because we have two people assigned in this room Let's go ahead and do it once more. This is the final time I'm showing this guys. So go to settings Keep in mind you have to be offline while you're doing this you go to date and time You set it manually and you go up by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There you go. Back out. Just like this, and into the game. Collect all of these, and there it is. We wanna collect all the resources, because as you can see, eventually the resources go down, because it's like registering you as not playing for seven days. So the resources can go quite quickly. This is why I suggest like upgrading your stuff like this, so it gives you more food, more water and all the good stuff right so let's go ahead and open at least one of these show you guys it's not fake as you can see we're opening it right now we got a rifle that's pretty good we got new cola quantum that's good it speeds up processes in the game however if you do this glitch you don't have to speed up processes which means you save the new cola quantum for like the time when you do not have any more lunch boxes and whatnot, or once you've done doing the glitch. We got a new dweller, sweet. Let's just open one more. As you can see, this is totally legit. Right, so you may wonder, what do I do when I'm done with this? Well, once you're done doing the glitch, go ahead and click options, save the game. Now you go to main menu, let it load. So once it's loaded onto the main menu, go ahead and close the application. So before connecting to the internet, go to settings, go to date and time, and you wanna set it to your current date and time. So mine is the 20th of the 6th, and you wanna also make sure your time is correct, cause sometimes it isn't. There you go. And now go to network, and you want to connect to the internet. Now just simply wait for it to connect. It will show you once it's connected, you'll see your friends online and it'll also say you're online. As you can see, we're online. Go to Fallout Shelter and we'll load up the vault. So once you get the hang of this method, you can do it like two lunch boxes a minute even faster if you're quick on hitting those buttons. So let's go to vault list and you want to enter the vault this way. Just go to 351 or whatever number you have and load the vault. All right guys, so as you can see here, the vault is loaded up. Still got those guys waiting outside. I got a lunchbox for completing a daily. We're running out of food. That's because I still have to upgrade stuff on the vault, but we got those five lunchboxes. 
And always make sure to check upon this. So if I equip a dweller with an outfit, I'll get another lunchbox. I may or may not have one. Yes, I do. As you can see, another lunchbox just like that. So, yeah. There you go, guys. That's the method how to get free lunchboxes and free caps in no time. It's totally up to you how quick you can do this. And it's unlimited. Just make sure that you do it on your main vault as many times as you possibly can because after those days you can only do the glitch again so after like three weeks you can do it again because if you did three weeks worth of wait time let's say if you did a one week of wait time which is seven days after seven days you can only do the glitch again so right now I ended the glitch and if I was to start it again I cannot do it only thing that would speed up would be the resources, the levels, and uh, any training on the dwellers. So you can still use it technically, or you can use it to speed forward any quests. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.